hello guys welcome back to my channel today in this video i will show you the lineage os 18.1 version based on android 11 on the oneplus 5t so let's get started into this today's video so first of all let's check the software version of this device so go into the settings then about phone and you will see the software version that is based on android 11 so the security patch level is 5th march 2021 which is the latest one and and as you can see here is the android 11 easter egg so but by the way i want to say you that about like the stock updates that means a stock room with oxygen os 10 that from oneplus gives it is officially dead that means it officially gone updates so then oneplus 5 and 5t is the last update is android 10 but still you can upgrade to android 11 custom room I am using it past since few hours of Lineage OS. It is really smooth and much better than Oxygen OS 11 and I have not find any kind of bugs also in this issue. So first of all let's talk about its customization also. But it has a less customization and it feels like a vanilla Android which I am passing a uh, few years about it. So let's click on the system and wallpaper. And as you can see here are some of these styles also and as you can see you can choose lots of uh, wallpaper it is a preloaded wallpaper and this is a default wallpaper after you do a first boot like after setting up the phone and here is a style this is the default style and you can make a custom one also so tap on this plus button then you can choose the font and you can choose the icons and you can choose the color also accent color so by the way i am choosing this one that is the blue one sorry purple one then you can choose the color icon shape also how it looks so then i will choose this round rectangle and you can name it also so if you have seen this it is looks like this only and you there is only just a limited customizations if you want to try some of the custom rooms which is also based on android 11 it is coming soon but in this room you need to manually install google app package in and if you want to flash with google apps package first of all you need to flash the rom and then flash the g apps package then reboot into system then it will work properly again and but i want to tell you that i will give uh, it is also based on android 11 if you try to flash android 10 g apps it will not work it will crash it and on recovery it will show you uh, installation is unsuccessful and as you have seen that this device is really good sometimes it has some kind of stutters and issue but it is a normally if you restart your phone couple of times it will get fixed it is just a small stutter but i cannot believe that this phone is really very smooth up even after four years later this device has been launched at 2017 in november now it has completely about like it is now starting with 2021 and almost it is a three and a half year old phone and it is much great and battery life is also great i get around maximally about like uh, five to six hours of screen on time and even seven hours of screen on time in my normal usage also and there is a pre-built aosp camera which is nothing useful by the way i have to rest uh, there is some hair stutters and here so here is the aosp pre-built camera but i will recommend you to to use the google camera for better image photos so as you have seen the performance of the device is uh, good not up to the mark but it is not bad as well also so i can call it a decent and as you can see you can go to the display set settings and you can enable dark theme also which will completely use your device up to like pitch black which is it is on the oxygen os 11 like grayish effect but i am using it on my oneplus 5t and it looks really pitch black and it is really beautiful it is one of my favorite ones also and you can change the live display color ratio also and you can here is the adaptive brightness also which can change automatically of your brightness also brightness level but i keep it manually to visible it and you can change the style wallpaper which i have shown you and here is the screen of time that is screen of screen, screen timeout actually and here is the font style you can change and full screen applications also screen saver lock screen lock screen content that it will show you show all content don't show all the content 
and you can add the text text on the lock screen also and here's the display media cover art display music visualizer and here is the option of ambient display and here is the wake up gestures also and you can turn it all also and here are some of the gestures also really useful that is pick up pulse notification to wake up and hand wave that is some of the simple gesture that you can do it it will work totally fine and here is the pocket mode it will work and there will be not any accidental touches also so let's try this about like hand wave so whenever I keep my device off, down as you can see I'm turn off my screen so like this I've done so it wakes up this screen so if I pick it up my phone if you I hope so if you see the clock or not I think so it is a bug I think no it is not waking up I think so it has some of the uh, like it is the issue but by the way this build is unofficial I will recommend you to not flash any unofficial build wait for the unofficial build to work it fine because unofficial build uh, it is not really as much as stable that I have thought but on this build uh, there is no bugs but some of the people said so I am not facing but easily you can flash it also and here is the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep also on the status bar while like to doing it like double tap to, to sleep the device and you can double tap anywhere to wake up the phone and here is the preventable accidental wake up and wake up on charge that I mean for example I will show you just in a minute so for example if my phone is off so then whenever I put this charger if you seeing that while charging the phone the screen will wake up it is a good feature but I don't think it is a really useful feature I think what do you think about it tell me down in the comment section so after doing that so you can do it like this in a way and here is the VR option so if you use VR so it will show you the, the blur should be reduced or it should be flicker so I will uh, recommend to use it at blur only so it is great and, and let's go to the sound settings first of all and you can increasing the volume also ring volume and you can start up the volume also but it is not useful for me so I am not using it and here is the other sound options also dial pad tone screen locking sounds and unlocking sounds charging sounds and vibration touch sounds also and touch haptic feedback vibration I am not using haptic feedback uh, as much as it used but I disable it and here is the storage it will show you about like how many gigabytes of your storage is left and here is the privacy location security accounts everything is over here and on system there is nothing much features as much to now uh, it is a here is the OT updates but I will recommend you that to after flashing TWRP recovery then flash TWRP zip in don't flash TWRP zip installer then the later they will there will be an option on setup like uh, setting up the image like lineage OS recovery so you can easily flash to it it is really easy but you will get OT updates I don't know about it but manually updated is really easy and here is some of the buttons and gestures so while arrowing down as you can see while typing here is the small uh, like these arrows so I will type any any text so have you seen so here is the small arrow so if I turn left so it will go left and if I turn right so it will go right so it is a really useful feature I don't think so but we can do it by a space button that is made by cursor and you can do it invert layout also that means like back button on right and recent button on the left but there should be it should be written as uh, swap buttons it will be much great and there are some of the small gestures and and you can enable split screen also but I will en enable the or you can enable split screen I think I will enable split screen also so if you are seeing that and you can do uh, some of the gestures also long press to uh, for torch so let's see so I will do like this so I will long press it in as we have seen torch has been running again so sorry turn on so I will turn it off yes as you can see it is a really useful feature but it does not need any kind of like this to go into the notification panel then enable it like this and then turn it off no need for it don't just go in, just go in power offing not powering off just only turn off the screen then and then long pressing on it it will turn, 
and so if you long press it it will off it so it is a really useful feature and this rom is supported for like lots of devices i will give everything about uh, which devices it supports i will give it in the description below don't worry about it and you can do a control playback and volume buttons also you can wake up the phone so let's try it hope it will work or not so i will press this volume button up and down as you can see it work not any not much of the issues also i think so and here is the reorient button show panel on the left or right additional buttons like this or uh, you can customize the alert slider but oneplus 5t does have the alert slider but you can customize to it easily and top position is vibration or total silence i will put it so and i will show you for example this is the middle one that is the do not disturb mode and if i turn it to up it will show the complete silence that means uh total silence that means it will not share any kind of notifications also and on the bottom position none of none is showing out here means nothing you can do it it is just shown for like a ringing mode yes and here is on the system profiles you can change it up to a system profile it is your favorite no idea and you can change the status bar settings also it is one of my favorite feature and first of all let's start doing it and here is the quick pull down so if i turn it on left so it will everything pull it down on the left side if i do it on the right side so it will everything bring down on the right side so no need to do it once like this double time only single time everything come down so i will turn it off so i will keep it on the right side and you can show the uh traffic monitor and network monitor that's why and you can turn off or turn on the system icons like hide the battery bar as you can see like this and it will show the show seconds on the clock style if you are saying it visibly or not and you can change the uh, am or pm on the small or normal but this the this room does not have much customization but it has it looks like a vanilla android and as you have seen here is the brightness slider slider i will show you to never show as you have seen it has gone hide so if i show it to show when it's expanded so have you seen it is up over there and if i uh if i next to the icon put it so as you can see where it is so i put the uh, sorry by mistake i have done it like this the brightness slider sometimes hides also so i will keep it to show always whenever you swipe down once so have you seen it is a it is a real good so i will keep it up over here and you can change the icon battery also so you can put it on circle then put it on text so i will keep it on circle and you can put it hidden also or you can inside the icon so if you are visible seeing it or not so i will let's i will focus my camera yes it looks visible it shows 52% of battery and then you can uh, put it next to the icons also but i love it uh, so i will put it inside the icon also it feels me like a synergen os i am using it uh, i have tried using synergen os in devices only just like one plus one but i miss this really feature a lot i find lots of ways to uh, to find it but it finally on the lineage os i have got it back and you can see uh, to show the auto brightness slider or not on the status bar uh, like this brightness control adjust by sliding over across the status bar so i will show you let's see how it works so then i will do it like this if you visit if you are seeing it or not like this it works so it is a really cool feature i i i really like it a lot so i will keep it on and here is the gestures lots of gestures are over there guys and you can put touch screen gesture like ha like whenever you do two fingers swipe down then it will show you the vibration and you can put any gestures but i don't use it as much and you can put swipe down for the fingerprint notification access quickly if you are seeing it like this it works but in my but in my fingerprint it has some kind of issues so it does not work i think so i think my hands are dirty so because it does not work and quickly open camera that means press the power button twice like this 
it will lock the phone but you can open the camera it is a really useful feature i think so so let's go so i will go back to the settings menu so i will so i will show you the quick gesture i've shown you and you can change this only while vibrating you can mute it or vibrate it i will keep it on vibrate and you can do a advanced restart also like this you can if you want to go to uh, like this recovery system recovery or bootloader like this but uh, but the power keys are much better if you don't know how to press boot how to go in bootloader and recovery mode so then use this feature and you can enable device controls also like this and you can add the cat cat controls these are the small things which you can use it like this and you can show the lock screen sensitive content and here is the navigation gestures which is one of my most favorite part it shows three three button navigation two button navigation it works just like then swipe up then you can come to recent apps then click this you will go back and, and go back while only just touching this if you go back to home screen and swipe up for and hold for a while and you will go back and you can do this uh, gesture navigation also like this also if you click on gesture navigation then it will show you what is the sensitivity of back sensitivity of low and I will keep it on high because if you are using screen protector so I will recommend you to put it high so you can get it uh, much better also i think so and if you want to show the hints that i am going back this if you disable it it will not show but it looks clean uh, like this and you can hide oh sorry actually i forget that this does not show it but actually if you go here it shows the navigation bar so if i turn it off so then it removes uh, it gets hide but it looks much cleaner but i like this only bar so if you do it the it will switch the apps and if you hold it for like while so it will not uh, it will go back to recent apps so i will put it on over here so what do you think about it guys tell me down on the comment section below also and here's the date time backup reset options you can reset network app preferences and factory reset also and you can add multiple users and here is the lineage os updater app if you receive any update oda update and you can uh, direct download it and install it normally like this and let's check the about version of it so it is running on 5th security 5th march 2021 which is a really latest one and i want to thank you to all of the developers that they are still providing updates for oneplus 5t I, I'm talking about unofficial builds, uh, unofficial developers that who are making these builds for 5T and making it much greater and and still we can flash custom rooms on uh, and at the latest Android version and I have seen it on my OnePlus 3T also uh, the last official support was Android 9 Pi and now still it is getting Android 11 also which is there are the two builds that is uh, Havoc OS and then Pixel Experience. So which room you want to try on the oneplus 5t so make sure tell me down in the comment section below so then i will also make that dedicated video on it also so thanks for watching this video to you my friends before you have come to this channel make sure to please subscribe to the, my channel and give this video a like if you have any queries so make sure to tell me down in the comment section below thanks for watching this video guys and have a great day